Hey y'all, how are you? Happy, happy day. Thank you all for coming through. I am doing a home remedy, a home remedy video. I do a lot of home remedies because I try to find the best things I can do to solve solutions without paying a lot of money. So these are things you have already in your home or you can pick up and they're easily easy to get 18 home remedies tested and proven the first one is peroxide now i don't have everything right here right there but i'm gonna um put pictures up as i talk about it peroxide did y'all know peroxide unclog your ears if your ears are all clogged and you can't hear put some peroxide in it and lay flat and let it sizzle and bubble and pop, 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 pop. About maybe eight minutes, seven, eight minutes, take it out and you're good to go. Your ears are unclogged. Number two, apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar relieves headaches. I used to suffer with really, really bad headaches. If you put apple cider in a pan with some water and bring it to a boil and let the steam come up, then take a towel and lean over the pan and put the towel over your head and inhale the apple um, cider vinegar with water. 20 minutes later, your headache is gone. Yes, Gatorade. Gatorade also relieves headaches. Eight ounces of Gatorade drinking straight. Don't stop, just guzzle that baby. It will relieve your headache, I promise you. Mustard, y'all. Mustard relieves muscle spasms. You take a tablespoon of mustard, once you get a real bad muscle spasm, I get them all the time. And once I take that tablespoon of mustard, it relieves that muscle spasm, boom, gone. Magnesium also relieves muscle spasms. I take a magnesium pill every day to relieve my muscle spasms. Mayo and egg. If you mix it together and you put it in your hair, it soft, softens your hair. It's like a conditioner and you have always have mayonnaise and eggs in your refrigerator. So it's, a, it's a, like a conditioner and it works well. Peppermint oil, y'all. I do have that still here. Peppermint oil, it works for in, in, indigestion. In, indigestion. I can't even get it out. It helps with indigestion, I promise you. You take a, a little bit of peppermint oil, it'll relieve heartburn and all kinds of crazy stuff, all kinds of stomach issues. Also, um, if you do like a peppermint, piece of peppermint candy, it works too, I promise you. Ice. Now, I guess y'all wondering, what in the world ice gonna do? Ice. If you take your boiled eggs you just took off, if you're boiling eggs for deviled eggs or whatever else, and you take them off the stove, put them in the sink, in the pan that it was cooked in with the hot water, you pour that water off, you just put some cool water in, and then you add ice cubes. And you let those ice cubes melt. And you do it like a couple of times. When you crack that egg, that shell is gonna roll right off. No problems. No messing up your pretty shell for your deviled eggs and nothing else. Easy peasy. Coconut oil. I was just looking to see if I still had it over there. I don't. Coconut oil um, works for hair and nails. If you put coconut oil on your scalp and on, on your cuticles, it makes your stuff grow like crazy. Yes. Just regular coconut oil. It works. Honey. Honey for sore throats. You ever have a sore throat and you just take a um, teaspoon of honey? It instantly relieves and soothes. Also with pimples. If you got a stubborn pimple you can't get rid of, put a little dot of honey on there. Be like, bye bye pimple. Downy. Downy fabric softens soft, 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 the, um, the liquid. If you take like a cup of that downy and you pour it in the back of your um, commode, you know how you lift the lid up? 
pour it in the water. Every time you flush, it'll freshen your bathroom. Instant air freshener. Vaseline, Vaseline for cracked lips. I live by it. You put it on them lips, that Vaseline intensify the lips and heal the crackness and any cuts or you know how some people have cracked lips and they have like dents and stuff all in their lips. You put that Vaseline on it, it'll soothe it right out, soothe it right out. A potato, a potato will keep your grease from burning. Like if you deep frying fish at a cookout or chicken or even in the house, you drop that potato in the grease, it'll keep your grease from burning and turning ugly, dirty black. Insomnia. Oh my God, y'all have insomnia. I cannot sleep. This is tried and proven. Minotone. Y'all gotta get some of this. It's all natural. It's not, it's only three milligrams, but it works wonders. It relaxes your body and you sleep well. Constipation. When I was taking chemo, I had constipation. I couldn't go to the bathroom. And I found Yogi Soothing Mint Tea. This is the best tea ever, y'all. Y'all gotta go ahead and pick up some. I used it twice when I was going through that situation. And after that, it was all good. I never had another issue. Amazing. And it's good, y'all. The tea is really, really good. I normally find it at Kroger's, if you guys have a Kroger's near you. Aloe gel. When I go out in the sun, my skin is sensitive and I break out in halves and bumps wherever the sun hit. If I use aloe gel when I come home and I just soothe it all over my skin, it instantly cools my skin and then it heals my skin. Aloe gel is awesome. Gum, chewing gum. Still got that here. Chewing gum. You getting on that plane and you know how your ears pop and you're like, oh my God, it hurts. Chew that gum, Put the, pop that gum in when you're walking down that walkway and chew that gum until you take off and up in the air at whatever level you need to be. Your ears will not pop and they will not hurt. Diarrhea. I know we all go through this time and time again. Yogurt. I know that sounds crazy, but yogurt works. Uh, eight ounce of yogurt, eat it, and you'll be good to go. Yes. Diaper rash or any ailments in that area. You know how sometimes when you have diarrhea and you, everything gets sensitive, I got a good cream for you. It's called Cal... It's called Calmoceptive Ointment. This stuff ain't nothing but the truth. Any, any healing you need for open skin or rashes or whatever, you go ahead and use this. This is some good stuff. And my last home remedy is spicy foods. Eat some spicy foods when that nose all clogged up. That nose won't be clogged up anymore. It'll be porn. Once you eat that, that spicy food, it'll alleviate all that clog all up in here. I have tried all of these. Matter of fact, I um, it's 20. Yeah, I have 20 home remedies. Yes, I have tried all of these, tested and proven. I kid you not, check out the picture. Um, the thumbnail it has a lot of the stuff in there and also all of the little pop-ups. So y'all go on on out there, look in your cabinet, look in your refrigerator, get this stuff and stop spending a lot of unnecessary money. I'm the amazing Sylvia. Thank you for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I have a short playlist at the end of some other videos. I would appreciate if you watch them. I'm on the road to 4,000 watch hours. <gasps> Yeah, so I'm excited about that and any help will be appreciated. Peace and blessings. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys. And remember, today is a great day to be amazing. Peace. Y'all stay safe on these YouTube.